what is going on. It's Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our microbiology and infectious diseases playlist. In previous videos, we talked about erysipelas, and in previous videos, we also discussed erysipeloid. Today, we'll compare between the two. The former is caused by group A beta hemolytic streptococci. The latter is caused by erysipelothrix. The former infects your skin when it's not traumatized. It doesn't care whether your skin is traumatized or not. But for you to develop erysipeloid, you need to have an injured, traumatized skin before the bacteria can jump from the animal to the human. Because it is a zoonosis or a zoonotic disease from animals to humans. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order for maximum understanding. Let's review Streptococcus pyogenes. It's a gram-positive coccus, catalase, negative, beta-hemolytic, basitracin, sensitive. Streptococcus pyogenes is coagulase negative, which means the area of infection will be widespread. Unlike staph, which is coagulase positive, therefore the area of infection will be localized coagulated in a narrow area. Erysipelas is caused by group A beta hemolytic streptococcus, also known as streptococcus pyogenes. It's a subtype or a special type of cellulitis. Erysipelas has clear demarcation and the lesion is elevated off the surface of the skin. Erysipelas versus cellulitis, both by the way, are caused by streptococcus pyogenes. Erysipelas is skin only, but cellulitis is usually deeper skin and subcutaneous tissue. That's why erysipelas is a subtype of cellulitis. Erysipelas is well demarcated. Cellulitis is poorly demarcated. Erysipelas is usually raised, but cellulitis is not, relatively speaking. Now it's time to talk about erysipelothrix, which causes erysipeloid disease. What does oid mean? It means like, similar to erysipelas. What does erysy mean? It's like erythema, redness. What does pelo mean? Pelo means skin, because it's an acute inflammation of the skin. Redness, hotness, swelling, pain, loss of function. Erysipelothrix is similar in morphology to listeria. It's a gram-positive rod, non-spore forming, aerobic, and uniform in shape. Erysipelothrix is also long, slender, and filamentous. You see some very thin filaments. That's why we call it thrix, because it's filamentous and because it lives underneath your surface of your skin. Erysipelothrix is a zoonotic disease. You have to have a cut in your skin first, and then if you're a butcher, farmer, fisherman, poultry worker, veterinarian, if you work with turkey, swine, etc., the bacteria will jump from the animal pew, to your traumatized open skin. And now we have a skin infection. It can spread and go deeper bacteremia, septicemia, and affect the endocardium of the heart, which can include valves. Virulence factors, diagnosis, and management was discussed in previous video titled Erysipelothrix. Now to the comparison, the best part of the video. Erysipelas is caused by Streptococcus pyogenes, but erysipeloid is by erysipelothrix. Erysipelas is caused by this, which is a gram-positive coccus, but erysipeloid is caused by a gram positive rod. Do I need to have traumatized skin to develop erysipelas? Uh, no. Do I need to have uh, traumatized skin to develop erysipeloid? Usually, yes. Since erysipelas is a subtype of cellulitis, i.e., streptococcal pyogenic skin disease, it can be complicated by acute glomerulonephritis. But erysipeloid, nope. Management wise, erysipelas, cephalexin, Penicillin, oxclox, dicloxin F, especially decloxicillin. As for erysipeloid, penicillin. But for disseminated diseases, we use ciftriaxone, which is a third generation cephalosporin. Speaking of cephalosporins and the other cell wall synthesis inhibitors, uh, you can learn about all of them by downloading my antibiotics course. It comes with 40 videos about antibacterials, antifungals, antivirals, and antiparasitic medications. Download it today at medicosisperfectionalis.com. I also have a surgery high yields course and an emergency medicine high yields one. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.